Hi everyone. In this video, we'll begin a discussion about the tools investors and others use to evaluate the financial statements. Investors and others use information that companies provide in corporate financial reports to make decisions. Although the financial reports focus primarily on past performance and the present financial condi condition of the reporting company, Users are more interested in information about the future. Investors want to know the company's default risk. This is the risk that a company won't be able to pay its obligations when they come due. Another aspect of risk is operational risk, which relates more to how adept a company is at withstanding various events and circumstances that might impair its ability to earn profits. Trying to gain a glimpse of the future from past and present data entails using various tools and techniques to formulate predictions. This is the goal of financial statement analysis. Common methods for analyzing financial statements include the following. Comparative financial statements, financial statements that are accompanied by corresponding financial statement information in the preceding year and often in previous two years. In horizontal analysis, each item in the financial statement is expressed as a percentage of that same item in the financial statements of another year. The oldest year is usually the base amount. For example, comparing, comparing inventory this year to inventory last year would provide the percentage change in inventory. In vertical analysis, each item in the financial statements is expressed as a percentage of an appropriate corresponding total or base amount but within the same year. For example, cash, receivables, and inventory in the current year can be restated as a percentage of total assets in the current year. In ratio analysis, financial statement items are converted to ratios for evaluating the performance and risk of a company. Much of this information should be familiar to you because you were introduced to all of these financial statement analysis tools in Accounting 301, which is a prerequisite to this class. Let's consider an easy concept check question. Which of the following describes the risk that a company cannot pay its obligations when they come due? Operational risk, cash management risk, horizontal risk, or default risk. Please pause the video while you consider the question and choose your answer. Then start the video again to check your work. The correct answer is D. Default risk describes the risk the company cannot pay its obligations when they become due, and operational risk relates to how a company can withstand various events. Well, that's all for this video. In the next video, we'll begin a discussion of the various ratio analyses shown to you in Chapter 3. See you next time.